Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to root your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 for Verizon. Now this is a very easy process. All you need is two files. So let's go grab those right now. But before you root your Note 3, you should be aware that using this method, you will lose all the data on your phone and you will also void your warranty. So do not proceed if those two things are undesirable. If you want to do it anyway, then it might be wise to back up your media files like music, movies, and pictures to your PC. Oh, and if you have a micro SD card attached to your uh, phone, make sure you remove it or back that up as well because that's going to get wiped out too. And also this process, this unrooting process is always reversible and I'm going to make a video very soon on how to reverse it so don't be scared if you want to try something out. Anyway, let's go grab the files we need and root this beast. Okay, so here's a, a post on my website that has all the required download links to complete this routing operation. In the description of this video, there's a link that will take you directly to this uh, post. So once you're at the post, what I want you to do is I want you to navigate to required files and click this link that says Android ADT bundle. So once you click this, you're going to download the SDK ADT bundle for Windows. So click that and choose what kind of PC you got, 32 bits or 64 bits, and then click download. And this is a four 500 megabytes file, so it's going to take a little while to download. Once you're done with this, go back to my website, to the post, and click Root De La Vega. Okay, so here's the guy that was able to root the Verizon version of the uh, Galaxy Note 3 as well as the AT&T version. So in this post I want you to scroll down to where it says required files and all you want to download is you want to download the root De La Vega package. You can do a direct download by clicking this link here or you can use a torrent file down here where it says mirrors and in fact I just want to let you know the torrent file took me only a couple minutes to download while the direct download link, link takes a while okay so click any one of these to download root de la vega so after you download the files what I do is I create a root folder and within my root folder I have all these different folders and for the Galaxy Note 3 I have all the files in this Galaxy Note 3 folder so if you go in here's root de la vega and here's the ADT bundle this file is extra you don't need this so let me take that off so root de la vega is going to be a big archived file and you are going to need to unzip it using the free program called 7-zip okay and then the ADT bundle is just a regular uh, file it's also a zip file you have to extract this so let's extract this right here okay so after the uh, extraction process is complete I want you to delete this zip file obviously and then go into ADT bundle and keep digging in until you find the platform tools folder I want you to copy this go back to the beginning and paste this folder right here and then you can delete this because the only thing that we need off of this ADT bundle folder is the platform tools folder refresh that's gone so that's everything we need now we are ready to go switch over to your phone okay so back on your phone make sure your phone is connected to your computer at this point use the cable to connect it to your uh, PC the micro USB cable and then go to the settings and go to general and at the bottom here you're going to see developer options if you don't see developer options what you have to do is you have to go into about device and you have to tap the build number seven times if you tap it seven times this menu will appear so once this menu is here you go in developer options and make sure USB debugging is enabled and click OK now once you enable the USB debugging your computer might start to install some drivers okay just let that go through that's not a big deal Okay. then you can go back out here to home 
Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is go into root. Okay, go to Galaxy Note 3 and go to Platform Tools. Anywhere in this folder, press Shift and click right on your mouse. Right click on your mouse. And then uh, choose op Open Command Window here. Okay, and then take this little guy and type in ADB Devices. Okay, as long as you see this random number here and device next to it, that means the ADB command is working, and that's what we're going to need. All right, so the next step is for us to actually boot into the download mode for our uh, Galaxy Note 3. So here's the Galaxy Note 3. We are currently in the regular operating system. So on the command prompt, I want you to type in ADB, okay, um, reboot download okay this is going to take you into the download mode for the Galaxy Note 3 watch the phone okay so the phone is restarting and we are in fact in the download mode okay so once we're in the download mode what I want you to do is minimize this command prompt window don't close it just minimize it for now all right, so once you have the phone in the download mode, I want you to go back to your uh, computer and navigate to root Galaxy Note 3 folder. From here, I want you to dig into this folder, root De La Vega SM900V, okay, and here, launch Odin version 3.09. Okay, so as long as you see this zero com a random number, that means the Samsung Galaxy Note is connected to the computer and ready to rock. So I uh, leave everything as it is here, and click AP and then navigate to the same folder the, the Galaxy Note 3 root de la Vega folder and grab this file this is the root de la Vega tar md5 file click open and then click start and this is going to also take a while now after this process completes we are going to let the phone boot completely to the Android system Okay, the process is complete. It says reset on the screen, and which is what you would see. Now let the Gal Galaxy Note 3 uh, boot into the system as usual, and then there's a few more steps we're going to take, and then we're done. Now once your uh, phone loads up and comes to here, you just want to click Get Started and just skip everything, okay? So click Next, uh, Exit, I understand, Next, Next skip finish okay once we're here what we're going to do is we're going to switch back to the computer real quick okay so back on the computer what I want you to do is I want you to um, go back to this root folder right here launch it and then go to Galaxy Note 3 and then go to root de la Vega and what I want you to do is I want you to unzip this root de la Vega that zip file. <clears throat> so right click on that and click extract to the folder. So go into the folder, grab these two files, copy them, then go to your computer and by this time your Samsung should be connected to the computer. So go inside your Samsung Galaxy Note 3, go inside one more time and paste those two files right to the root of your phone and then go ahead and restart your phone just press the power button and hit restart so the phone restarts Okay, once your Samsung shows back up on your computer, go inside, go to the internal storage, and this time, delete the two files that you copied over. Remember, the files that you copied over were root files and root de la Vega. Okay, so delete this, delete the root files, and finally, after you did do this, 
you have to do one final reboot. So restart again. Okay, so now your phone is in fact rooted. So let's go to the app drawer and let's take a look at the super SU file which should have been loaded by now which is right here you tap that say no thanks or if you want to follow this guy go ahead okay so as long as you have this app running that means you are rooted and the super user has been enabled and as you know the super user is the uh, ultimate user in a Linux based system so you are rooted and you are good to go so get out of here all right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.